next election. I want to talk about the subject of three D's of faith. Repeat that. The three D's of faith. The three Amen. three D's of faith. Now, let me tell you something. Some of y'all say you got faith. But as soon as you have a storm in your life, mm. <clears throat> you forget about your faith. Amen. Amen. You can't have faith or you can't have success without faith. Right. Amen? Amen? Faith will move mountains. Amen. I don't even ask him to move mountains. I just say, Lord, give me the strength to climb the mountain. Yes. Yes. Faith will change your belief in raising your children. Amen? Amen. Fred, how old are you now? 19. 19. You're a grown man now. Amen? It's called grow up time. Mm -hmm. Y'all get quiet on me. And the problem today, folk don't have faith that folk can be changed. Amen. That's so true, Pastor. And, and the problem in the church today, we want to do things, but we want to do it our way. Our way. Amen. And the reason we can't go nowhere or do nothing is because we want to do it our way. Amen. And you do know sometimes your way stops God's program. Amen. In other words, you in the way. Amen. And if you try to stop God's program, God will move you out of the way. So his program could be successful. Yes, yeah. Amen. I know that's right. Somebody can come out and come to But 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 I was at we was at the school with Secure the, the other day. And y'all see how she do now. She don't she'll tell you everything going on. But basically we had to say to the teacher, this is what we expect. Mm -hmm. This is what we gonna do. Mm -hmm. Then now they got the password, sister Elvis got the password, or mom got Sometimes you got to go fight your battle. Yes, yes. Then sometimes, too, you got to fight your battle for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. And then, see, everybody yeah. going to try to hold you back. Y'all ain't getting this. Amen. And I'm not just telling them because it's, it's just like people, they were like amazed that we would take the time. Amen. And come out and say what time it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, I have found this out. <clears throat> People say they want to be successful. And y'all know something? I'm like this. If you invite me into your life to work with you, don't put no stop sign up on me. Amen. Because you're going to get run over. All right. Amen. You ask me. Y'all mm -hmm. ain't getting this. Amen. But I'm going somewhere with these three D's of faith. And the problem with the D's of faith, some folk got the devil. Amen. Well, the, D, <laughs> the D devil. Yeah. Now I can put something in front of the DD. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen? Amen? So after the next election, we want to talk about the three D's of faith. Hallelujah. Keep your Bibles open to 1 Corinthians on the 13th verse. We put emphasis on that. 13th chapter, 13th
this morning, then get here to find out that you have a birthday celebration for me. Amen. Amen. The Lord spoke and said, well, you went to the football game, <laughs> wasn't too tired to go to that, uh -huh. five hour bus ride up and back. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. So you ought not be too tired to preach God's word. Amen. 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 We're going to be brief this morning, but I want to talk this morning from the scripture that you read, 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Amen? Amen. Of these three verses mentioned in this verse, faith, hope, and love. Yes. This morning, I want to faith, uh, focus on faith. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Musician, come on up here to the front row. Got to get you closer to me. Amen. He knows where I'm coming from, I guess. Amen? Amen. This morning's subject is the three D's of faith. Amen. I want you to remember these three D's. Yes, yes. Faith developed, faith demonstrated, and faith destroyed. Let me hear you repeat that. Faith, faith developed, developed, faith, faith demonstrated, demonstrated and faith, faith destroyed. Amen? Amen? Faith developed. Faith destroyed. I'm sorry, faith, faith demonstrated mm -hmm. and faith destroyed. Amen? Amen? By the way of the dictionary, it defines the general of persuasion. Amen? Amen? The persuasion of the mind that a certain statement is true. But according to Hebrews 11.1, 1, what does 11.1 1 say? Hey, Y'all have closed your Bibles already. Look at you. Now faith. What? Say oh, the, what? Somebody say it. Now faith. Say it. Now faith is the evidence of things hoped for. The evidence of things unseen. Amen? Amen. It is the assurance of the things hoped for. Yes, yes. For the convictions of things not seen. Mm -hmm. But sure of what we hope. For the Amen. certain of what we not do not see. 
Faith is therefore the conviction and trust in someone or something. Yes, yes. Now, who are you putting your trust in? Mm, hallelujah. Are you trusting in man or are you trusting in God? Trust in God. <laughs> man said you can't do it. God says you can do it. Am I right about it? Yeah. Faith in God, according to Hebrews 11, 6, involves conviction and trust that he exists. Mm -hmm. First of all, you got to realize that God exists. Yes, yes he Amen. does. Amen. Let's come on in the door. Come on in. Amen. Amen. You got to believe that faith brings in things. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. But if you don't believe it, why, why, why do you read your Bible? Amen. 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 Without such faith in God, we cannot please him. Say amen. 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 Faith in Jesus and Jesus according to John 8, 24 and 11, 27 involves conviction mm -hmm. and trust in what Jesus did. First yes. of all, you got to have conviction. Amen. Mm. How can you say you trust man but won't trust God? Lord. The yes, Bible Lord. even tells us, put your trust, trust in, in no man, because man, right. man will deceive you. Yes. But put your trust in God. Mm -hmm. As Paul says, I can do all oh, things through Christ. Christ what strengthens me. me. Amen? Amen. But you got to put your trust in God. Amen? Amen. Amen. According Amen. to John 10, 10, he came that we may have life, and that we might have it more abundantly. Abundant. Yes. Without yes. such faith in Jesus, we die in our sin. Yes. But what gets me in the church today, folks say, I got all the faith I need in Jesus. Yes. But as soon as you get knocked off the highway, right. where is God? Where God at? Yes. God is right there when you got it? knocked off the highway. Yes. Why do you let it happen? Amen? Yes. Faith in God and Jesus is essential. Amen? Mm -hmm. But we need to know how such faith is developed, demonstrated, or destroyed. Amen? First, our faith is developed through three different ways. We're told in Romans 10, 17 that the word of God is designed to create faith. It was written to produce faith. Mm -hmm. It is filled with the evidence that motivates faith. Yes. How you come to church every Sunday and never say amen? Oh, wow. mm. Amen. How, how, how you come to church every Sunday? Nothing moves you. Woo, my God. Sitting my there God. like a dead log. Yes, yes. You would have think you could say, Lord, woke me up this oh, morning. Yes. I was cold in my right mind. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Woo, had God. bread on the table. Yes, yes. And some of us didn't need the bread. Mm. Like me. I didn't get nothing. <laughs> Amen. 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 And then it ain't going to hurt you to miss a few meals. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Am I right about it? Hallelujah. That's a blessing. Yes, it is filled yes. with evidence that motivates faith. Mm -hmm. Faith is developed through obedience. Yes. Oh, that's the hardest thing in the mm -hmm. church. They folk don't want to be obedient. Amen. They want to do what they want to do. When but they you do be obedient to God's word. Mm -hmm. And God will make a way. Yes, he will. Am I right about it? Yes. Jesus said in John 7, 17, those that do his will will know his truth. In other words, if you obey God in your faith, your faith will be stronger and your trust will grow. Yes. First of all, if your faith ain't strong, you ain't going to grow. Amen. Let me be my mother. Always talking about my English. <laughs> be corrected. <laughs> am, I, am I right about it? Amen. <laughs> it is sometime when you speak, mm -hmm. speak with authority. Yeah. Always. Jesus, Amen. Jesus. Yeah. Give it to and you. then sometimes you have to go down and bring somebody up to you. Amen. Amen. See, if I come up too high for you, you don't know where I'm coming from. Amen. Amen. That's why you got to train them up. Yay. Amen. 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 Secure. We're on her case right now because we want her to make it. Mm -hmm. she, she, she loves the Lord and loves her pastor and loves the church. Amen. When I found out, though, Folk in the church get jealous when you try to help somebody. Yes, uh-huh. Y'all know how we do. It ain't helping mine. Amen. <laughs> y'all know the walls won't tell y'all what I'm talking about. Amen. But God puts us all to help each other. <laughs> yes, he does. Am I right about it? Uh-huh. Yes. You, you, you develop your faith through fellowship. Mm -hmm. According to Hebrews 3.14, you can strengthen your faith by confronting each other. 
I'm sorry, comfort, confronting, comforting, comforting each other, yes, yes, which yes. we do by assembling ourselves together. Yes. The yes. more we have fellowship with each other, yes, yes. the stronger that our faith grows. Yes, yes. yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. It was talking about me being another year older mm -hmm. on Thursday. Hmm. But it had not been for my faith. Amen. Wow. My dad and my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Amen. I'm sure it was faith that brought them through. Yes, yes. Am I right about it? Amen. Yeah. Sister Ed was always talking about you always talking about your mom and your dad. Well, I'm proud of my mother and father. Yes, yes. Love my mother and father. And yes. I and you should. try to exemplify that on a daily basis. Amen. She's saying, now you should. She's saying that for day. Amen. Amen. Oh, but my mother or father, when they call for me, I'm on my way. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I know a lot of people. I don't know what it is to lose a mother or father. I still got mine. Yeah. But some folk yeah. wish they still had it. Yeah. But yeah. only through faith. Yes, yes. Don't wait till they're dead and gone. Talking about you wish you had a right. Yes, that's right. My daddy would call me sometime. Boy, go by there and give me a jar of peanuts. Yes. And I'd just be so tired. Amen. But guess what? I'm going to get that jar of peanuts. Right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because I ain't going to let, if he leave here before I do, right. I'm sitting back talking about I should have already got the uh -huh. peanuts. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Follow the instructions. Mom, they gave us instructions. That's right. Now, you might depart from them, but you got to follow the instructions. Like the word. People don't like me to say this, but I think when you got your house, you ought to run your house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. When we go visit our sons, they got their yeah. rules. Mm -hmm. Remember, I don't like staying at people's house. I like to go somewhere and get my own place. Right. But when I snow, I don't want nobody knocking That's on the door. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I have a mask that I sleep in every night, and I call it Air Force One, and when I bed down, I say, that's one going down for the night. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But that mask helps me sleep better. Mm -hmm. But do get that name, but you know you can get an infection through the mask. Mm -hmm. Soap and water don't just have cleaners. I had to buy the machine that takes all the stuff away. Amen. Amen. But if you say you got faith in that machine. Amen. I ain't putting my faith in that machine. That's right. That thing been trying to blow up, catch on fire. It's not working. Water be the drown on me while I'm sleeping. <laughs> when it be brrr, when it bubbles and stuff, I like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> faith is developed through obedience. Mm -hmm. You develop faith through fellowship. Is that right? Mm -hmm. The more we have fellowship, each other, the stronger we faith we gain. Mm -hmm. We know that faith has been to, has to be developed, but how is it to be demonstrated? Paul says in Romans 1, 5, by obedience of faith. He also says in Romans 16 that we must obey from what? The heart. Mm, which hallelujah. demonstrates the nature of our faith. Now, Amen. you know, folks say that, oh, it's from my heart. They know they were lying when they said it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I love you, Pastor. As soon as I get out the door, you put the dagger in my back. Uh -huh. But you got to have faith. Yes. Faith will change people's thoughts. Hey, faith would change conditions. Yes, yes. Am, am I right about it? Mm -hmm. You can't get mad because you ain't leaving the program. Wow. Thank God you're on the program. That's right, that's right. Somebody might can do like we had the youth, the, the work this morning. I saw mm -hmm. y'all pushing it and telling her she don't know what to do. <laughs> you got five people shouting what to do, and she's like, what to do? Just and, and, and just, just yeah, but, but, the, but it's a way to give encouragement. Because uh -huh. they're already nervous. <laughs> Am I right about it? Amen. I heard somebody say, well, we should rehearse. We should practice all the time. Uh -huh. But do you know some folk don't pick up this Bible until Sunday morning? Uh -huh. Amen. Then they become experts. Uh -huh. <laughs> we had a member that used to come to Bible study and read from the footnotes. Uh -huh. Every time we get on the seven. He was bring out the footnote. I got the same footnotes in my Bible. He ain't telling us nothing. Mm -hmm. But he wanted to show that he was a little smarter. He didn't tell us he was using them, though. And, but he didn't tell us he was reading the footnote. I said, <laughs> it sounds like you're reading so and so. <laughs> Amen? Amen? And we ought to be able to grow together, don't we? Yes, yeah. yes. Romans 16, he also says in Romans 16 17 that we must 
obey from the heart, uh -huh. which demonstrates the nature of our faith. Mm. Listen to this, brothers and sisters. We cannot grow in faith if we are not obedient to the word. Hallelujah. We are also told that faith demonstrates through good works. Mm. Y'all need to be shouting. Mm. James writes about a dead faith. <clears throat> he says, faith without works is no good. That's right. A vibrant living faith will manifest itself by a good work. Mm. You don't have to brag what you do. That's Amen. right. Amen. Just go do what you're going to do. Do it, do it, do it. If you let a song, give God the praise. Hey. Hey, hey, don't, 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 don't say they couldn't have Bible study because you wasn't there. Hey. Woo. God always Nothing got a ram else. in the bush. Sure does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. A violent living faith manifests itself by its good work. Thirdly, my brothers and sisters, faith cannot be destroyed. Y'all didn't get that. Mm. Y'all going to sleep in here. <laughs> faith cannot be destroyed. Now you're probably asking, how can this happen? How can someone strong, I'm sorry, how can someone strong in faith become weak? Y'all ask yourself that question? Mm. Even to the point of no faith. Amen? Yep. How can this happen? Well, faith is destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Mm. You don't study this Bible? Amen. That's how your faith gets weak. Feeds your faith. Amen. How do you say you're going to the doctor and you don't claim the victory before you go to the doctor? Mm -hmm. You're going to make yourself sick before you get that? Hey. Want to ask your boss for a raise and you I don't want to think nothing. Well, you ain't going to get the raise. Yeah. The worst they can tell you is no. Yeah. <laughs> Since they was used to always talk about that they were afraid to give me bad Evaluation. Evaluations. Evaluations. And they were. Well, they might have been because they knew I would stand up. <laughs> hey, hey well, why, why I got a fault? Why is this down there? Because if I, I got good work ethics. Mm -hmm. And if you're working, that will be down a short appreciation. That's right. <laughs> I never asked for a raise and been told no. On any job I had. Yeah, I have because some jobs I didn't deserve no raise. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know we have a raise they ain't going to work. Being honest. Amen. Let me give you a raise. You're lucky you got a job. <laughs> Amen. Don't, don't stop some people. <laughs> faith, as I say, can be destroyed. Yes, yeah. How can someone say they got faith? Well, faith is destroyed by lack of knowledge. Remember in Romans 10, 17, uh, uh, Romans 10, 17, 1, I said that faith come through the word. What? God. But like Israel, lack of knowledge of God, word will lead to their destruction. Uh -huh. As people stop growing in the word, mm -hmm. their faith becomes weak. Yes, so yes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. That's right. That's right. How can you say that God is going to make a way for you on the job tomorrow? Right. God is going to take you off the bed of affliction, but at the same time, y'all know what I'm saying. It's you Sunday. Now, Fred ain't a youth no more. Y'all missing this. He always try to do that little baby stuff on me. Lay his head on my chest. He know you're wrong. <laughs> no, son, you're a grown man. That ain't working no more. To get you got to get and, and, and sometimes you have to give. Uh, 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 you have to give him tough love. That's right. Talking back to your mama, I can't help you. Mm -hmm. And people say, why? Why is that a big deal? I tell our youth that. He got a bit of talking about your belt, your parent. Yeah, the word says it. That's right. Amen. Well, I'm always saying we come in there talking to noise if we want to. Mm -hmm. We won't leave out. <laughs> Not talking anyway. Amen. See, you got to demand respect. That's right. That's right. Am I right about that? Amen. If you let somebody take over your household, your kids run your life, that's your life run. Mm -hmm. Tell you what to fix, mm -hmm. what to eat. Mm -hmm. I told y'all about the cornflakes. My mom used to put that canned milk in, in the regular milk carton. Y'all said it was good, but I didn't like it. <laughs> you know, I couldn't read. I couldn't read canned milk, but I knew what it smelled like. <laughs> what it tastes like. But you had to eat what you had. Amen. You had milk. That's right. Amen. Be thankful for what, what what God has done for you. Hey, that's true. Faith, faith, faith can also be destroyed by lack of work. When you stop doing the work of God, 
you get weak in your faith. Uh -huh. That's why you have to work until night comes. Because uh -huh. night coming with no man That's will right. be able to work. That's right. Amen. Yeah. When you start doing the work of God, you get weak in your faith, don't you? Yeah. When you get mad and go home and sit down, you are the one that's affected. That's right. That's right. That's you, right. you mad at everybody. Uh -huh. When you get home and ain't nobody, you just losing your spiritual. Yeah. Your spiritual strength. Woo. But if you want some spiritual strength, say, the devil is a liar, and the truth is not angry, and Lord, I'm going to let you use me. Use me until you use me up. Amen. Amen. I remember we used to go to church all day long. Mm, First, good time. Uh, yes, BTU, Bible School, everything. everything. Mm. But you was, and you know when you, everything you had to do, I can't do nothing on Sunday because my mama going to make me go to church. Amen. We got to do blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Look what God brought us. Right. Yes, yes. If we didn't have the faith, amen. But yes. Marie Bryant. Y'all talking about I couldn't sing. I used to sing on a radio program. Mm. On, Cost us 25 dollars, 25 cents. Come on. To catch the cab from you. Yes. Miss Bryant back to church. Right. Amen. Right. But look, I got a tune by going to Marie Bryant. Okay. Okay. And folks forget and you care. when you're dead and gone. Uh -huh. And now they 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 look at you now. What have you done for me lately? Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. Amen? Amen. Things that we learn, and then the problem in the church today, folk don't want to learn. Mm -hmm. Won't humble themselves. Mm -hmm. Well, how can we destroy them? Well, you don't want to work for the Lord. What you think will happen? Mm -hmm. I'm just so tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called Thompson. Game, get you out of here. Uh -huh. Amen. Then let me say this. Finally, your faith can be destroyed by fellowship, by, I'm sorry, your faith can be destroyed by fellowshipping together. Amen? Amen? You see, when you start meeting with other Christians, you will know that you will, your fire will soon go out. <laughs> not fellowship. Correct. You need to be, not, you know, some people be home looking at Benny Hinn. Uh, I, I was on the couch and I saw Benny Hinn. That, no, no. God says come to we'll assemble ourselves assemble together. Something together. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Encourage one another. Mm -hmm. Do you know there's so much jealousy and envy going on in the church today? Yes, yes. I got a police officer called me Reverend Ike. They come Reverend Ike. That used to bother me. Reverend Ike, here come Reverend Ike. And then I got a phone call one day. Reverend Edwards? Yes, who's this? So and so. I said, oh, oh, I ain't Reverend Ike no more. <laughs> he said, Reverend Ike, I never thought I'd be calling you. <laughs> but he says, I'm, I'm, he, he said to me this way. He said, I'm in hospice. Mm -hmm. Sister that was one. Sister that was one. I'm dying. He said, I need you to come see me. But the devil said, man, you're on your job. Forget that man. He wouldn't listen to you. And God says, go see him right That's now. Right, right. That's right. He was on, in hospice. His wife and all of them were around the bed, and they're wondering how can he accept Jesus. Mm. And when I walked in, he said to me, Reverend Edwards, he said, he said, I'm going to die. He says, but I want to ask you, can I be saved? Mm. I says, all you got to do right now, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, and you shall be saved in this very day. Yes, yes, yes. And I got to him, I says, and I said, when you get to heaven, tell God to save me, because I'm coming too. Mm. And people say, oh, is he really going to heaven? See, you can, you, God, you don't know what folk got. That's right. That's God right. can forgive you for anything. <laughs> now, people say they forgive you, but as soon as you walk out of the door, uh -huh. I ain't going to forget it now. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Faith can be destroyed by lack of work. Yeah. When you get mad and go home, sit down, you lose your spiritual strength. Mm -hmm. And as I close today, Finally, your faith can be destroyed by fellowshipping together. When you stop, well, when you don't fellowship, amen? Right, amen. When you stop meeting with the Christians, you will know that the fire will go out. That is the reason you can't just sit home and watch the service on TV. We're told to assemble together. Yes, yes. Otherwise, our faith will be destroyed. Mm. As I close my message this morning, if you're going to let the message if you're going to get the message about the good news that Jesus died, mm -hmm. that he was buried and rose on the third rose day, on the third day, we must know that oh, faith wow. is crucial element in our hey. relationship 
with God and Jesus. Yes, yes. If you're going to make it in times like these, mm -hmm. and we're living, we must have faith. Yes, yes. A faith that will heal you when you're sick. Yes. A faith that will see you through when yes, the money yes. has disappeared. Hallelujah. When all seems against you. Yes. Just hang on in there. Hang on in there. Start developing your faith. Yes. Demonstrate your faith, but 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 I all mean do not destroy your faith. Yes, yes. You need to look to the hills where your help comes yes. from. And your help coming from the Lord, uh, yes. which made heaven and earth. Jesus. One of these days, yes. my brothers and sisters, oh, yes. we want to close up our Bibles and hymn books. Yes. One of these old days, uh, yes. y'all gonna look for me, yes. and I'll be going home. Uh, to meet Jesus uh, face to face. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but I want to hear him say, uh, Servant, uh, servant of God, uh, your job is well done. Uh, you've been called everything uh, but a child of God. Uh, but I thank God uh, one of these days uh, when we stick our swords uh, down in the golden sand. Uh, but we won't have to study wall, uh, study wall no more. Uh, every day uh, will be howdy howdy, uh, no more goodbyes. Uh, there'll be no dying over here. Uh, Thompson Funeral Home, uh, Gaines will be out of business. Uh, Cause nobody need a doctor, uh, they won't need Judge Grimes. Uh, all along, uh, cause when you look for Judge Grimes, uh, you'll be at the judgment bench. Uh, and it's all right. Uh, I'm like David today. If I had wings like a dove, I'd fly away and be at rest. My mind is made up. My heart is content. The love that I have, the world didn't give it. And the world can't take it away. The three D's of faith. God says one day I'm coming back for my church yes, yes. I'm coming back for the church without small rank yes. I'm coming back for those that have been washed yes. in the blood of the Lamb those that are saved, sanctified yes, yes. and filled with the Holy Ghost yes, yes. Amen? Amen as the musician sings we open the doors of the church you can come as, as a candidate for baptism come under your own Christian experience yes, come as a backslider that's left the church and want to come back home. If you're here today, we invite you to come. You can come as a candidate for baptism. This might not be the church where you want to be, but if you give your heart to God and your soul to God, give me your handshake. We'll send you where you want to go. Let us stand. Somebody will come today. The preacher in hand. Give God your soul. When you come, all you just need is a little faith. The size of a mustard seed. Let me see it. 